So why do we blame God when, for example, we have enough food on our planet to feed three extra planets. If we are greedy and selfish, she lost a child and she was looking in despair. And the moment she found that child, she embraced it. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said to his companions, he said, do you think that woman would ever throw her child in the hellfire? They said, yeah. no, like that, your reaction. And the Prophet said, Allah is more merciful to his servants than that woman is to the mother. So it shows the compassion of God Almighty. So, in that ins essence, when we're talking about so cancer. What happened with our daughter? Okay, my, so. Uh, can I interrupt yeah. just a moment, please? My feeling is the ultimate power, God, yeah. Allah, created the universe yeah. and spun the top. The top spins. I don't think God takes an active Can I look part. in your actual eyes? Will you pull those sunglasses up? I don't think God takes an active role in everyone's day-to-day life. Because there wouldn't yeah. be people harming other people, people mm. hating other people. Mm. Because God has the power to change that. Yeah. Does he not? He's all-powerful. Okay, so this is called the problem of evil. So we asked a question about your daughter, your dear daughter, and also the problem of evil. Here's how we deal with it. We believe that God is, also, God is all knowing and is also the all wise. For example, if my child is running towards the fire and my instant reaction to save her because my argument say, my feet is closer to her than my hands, I would have to kick her. Now kicking her in that moment would be, because she doesn't know the fire is harmful, she would say, daddy is mean and daddy kicked me. But little did she know that I was trying to protect her from something bigger. Now, when it comes to the problem of evil... I think that's a far-fetched metaphor. True. I really think that's far-fetched. Because yeah. evil happens. Some people are yeah. evil. Some yeah. people have desires to hurt other people. Yes. And that's that, that could be changed if God is all-powerful. Good. So what we see is the following. What was your name? Michael. Michael, I'm going to call you the young, handsome young man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is the following. We say, for example, God doesn't command innocent people to be killed. God does not command for people to live in poverty. However... So God is holding those people up by a thread. Yes. And if other people around don't pray hard enough yeah. or don't do what they live the life that they're supposed to live, yeah. God drops the person into the fire. Our, God our, could our, save anyone at any time, just like that. Our belief system is the following. We are on this earth for a test. If the moment God intervenes in every evil that happens, then nobody will attempt that evil. So God said, I've put you on earth as a test to see which one amongst you is a true worshiper. So therefore, God doesn't say kill, God doesn't say starve. Now, simple question. God, there are, God there, created can, every person. Yes. God loves every person equally at the beginning. Why would God set somebody up yeah. to be in a situation where, where our daughter was dying for 16 years? Yeah, where okay. their upbringing causes them to be evil. Okay, what, so if God could change that, God, could, God says, yeah. hey, that person let, way let, out there. Let, let him talk. So, good question. So, my point was the following. <laughs> when it comes to the problem of evil, it's a diff, uh, which, uh, put in these two different categories. Number one, natural disasters. Natural things like illnesses. Yes. Number two, people committing evil. Now, did God order George Bush or Tony Blair to go to Iraq and kill one million people? No. no. Did God order ISIS to go and kill innocent people? No. Did, we don't know the theory of 9-11, but let's suppose go it was the Taliban. Did God order the Taliban to go and fly of an airplane? Good. So now what we see is the following. If, if people do evil, God did not command you. So why do we blame God when, for example, we have enough food on our planet to feed three extra planets. If we are greedy and selfish, why are we blaming God when God says, I've given you the resources to share. If you are selfish, so again, why are you blaming question. me? I'm, I'm not blaming God. So Good. I'm saying why, God could why have prevented saved our daughter. Good. So let's just come to your daughter because it's something. The wars. Okay, God could have prevented the wars. He's all powerful. Okay, good. But we don't, we're seeing the fact that God did not intervene. It's his will and his wisdom. I agree with that. So, now why? Because at the end of the day, sometimes there are situations that make a person. How many times do we watch a video of an entrepreneur and he says, when I was young, my mom died. My father got shot. I'm just going to tell was, you, yeah. they say that God does not give you something you can't handle. Exactly. There's, 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 in the say, Quran. there's a verse in the Quran that I'm says that. I'm going to say yeah. that... I couldn't handle for a long time. I was in a really bad place for a long time. True. And I am a religious person. Okay, so. good. So what we see is this, sister, yeah? Is that the question when it comes to your, to your daughter, 
we say that Allah says in the Quran, there might be something you hate which is good for you, and there might be something you love which is bad for you. Because we believe in and hereafter, for example, as an atheist, an atheist could never answer you of why your daughter had to go through that. Because all he would have to say is just mother nature and evolution doing its peace. We say that your daughter, and in, and, and, and in Islam we believe that your daughter has a chance of entering heaven. Why? Because if he did, she of didn't hear the message of Islam, of I, course, I think that's yes, a wonderful belief. exactly. I wish I could believe in heaven. Yes, there's. No We've had a really hard time. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry to hear that. But believe me, you know, sometimes there are certain things in life that we go through. I've been tested, not to that level, and it is. I mean, you, you are a very. Like, I look up to you as a woman that you are standing here and you've lost a child and she suffered for 16 she was years. Sick for 16 years. And you still believe in God. I do. Do you know what I find really amazing? There was a woman actually just before you on a bike. She said, why would I believe in God if there's evil? And she gave the Palestinians as an example. I said, isn't it ironic and amazing? That's the very ironic. people, the very people that are being bombed, they say we believe in God, but you here watching on TV say, I don't believe in God. How are the ones that are being blown up saying, I have more faith, you're here watching and saying, I don't have faith. But one thing I want to end on, and we can carry on. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you open a random verse of the Quran? Sure. But before you do, can you internally just pray to God and say, God, if this is from you, Give me a sign. Okay. Any chapter, any verse. I need my glasses, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Here we go. I want to read them. Just point to one and let him read. Yeah, point okay. to one, I'll read. I want this one. So one second, this is verse 19. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I need this one. Okay. He's like, that one's too junk. <laughs> okay. And saying, be not haughty with the land. Indeed, I have come to you with clear evidences. And indeed, I have sought refuge in my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me. But if you do not believe in me, then leave me alone. And finally, he called to his Lord and, and uh, that these were criminal people. Allah said, then set out with, the, with my servants by night. Indeed, you, you are to be pursued. So this is talking about the children yeah, of Israel. How this, how okay. This Oh, okay, no, uh, uh, to, to your yes. situation. Okay, sorry. So I don't know if it relates to your situation. It, does not. <laughs> it doesn't. So this is talking about Bani Israel. You said you was a Jew. I am. Okay, so we believe the children of Israel, they ran away from Pharaoh. I yes? Know. And yeah. Pharaoh, what did he used to do? He used to kill the boys. So yes. he had a dream, basically, right. if you remember, yeah? I agree. So, so for example, it's very interesting because if you look at the story of Moses. I know the story of Moses. His mom, he was told Pharaoh was killing all the boys because yes. he had... Because he was afraid. He was afraid that a from the children of Israel, a boy is going to come and have and end be, of him. And take over. Exactly. Position, exactly. Yes. And this is very interesting because what does Moses' mom do? He has to put her in, uh, puts him in she a... She gives him away and trusts. Yes. And puts him in the river. Yes, she and, trusts. Yes, exactly. And what does she have to do? She has to have trust in God. And I think this is where it relates because you know why? I agree. Because you know how it relates? Because when she had to put him in... Imagine putting your baby in a river wow. or a lake. And then guess what? God says in the Quran, not in this specific verse. I think you need to be careful because I put my daughter in way worse than a river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Of course, there's, 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 no, there's no comparison. Yeah. So in that sense, that Allah also says to Moses that when the mother had this fear in the heart of my child's going to die, God says we put a peace in her that she got serenity of. Correct. He's or she's in a good place or he's being looked after. You can send her away or him away and know they're gonna be safe. Thank you. So in this situation, this is talking about the children of Israel running away from Pharaoh. But I, if we I'm rewind familiar. to who Moses was and how he became and why he became and his, what his mom had to do to let him go, but eventually returned. So we believe that inshallah, that you inshallah might reunite with your daughter because as an atheist oh, i expect atheist, to i i'm yes, not an atheist and i expect exactly to reunite with her. exactly so i would just take from the story of moses how the mother had to let go of moses and he had to become who he became and they were reunited by the way god did reunite them no, maybe not in this life but in the hereafter so i would just say this sister i will leave this with you. If you do you have a quran with you i don't okay so i will leave that with you it's as a me. gift it's for you sister would you like one uh, we can share. Sure. Sharing, sharing is caring. <laughs> so I would say in a nutshell, if you have any other questions for me, but in a nutshell, like like I said before, I'm very sorry to hear you're lost. You're a strong woman. I mean, like I learn lessons from just hearing your story. So yes, in a nutshell, I would say, may God Almighty guide you guys, guide me and reunite us in paradise because that's our end goal. And like you said, as a humanist, 
what I love for myself, I have to love for everybody. That's why I believe Islam is the best solution because I came to Islam 10 years ago. I was not born a Muslim. Wow. Yes, I came to Islam and hopefully it will be a means of guidance for you. And I ask Allah that Allah guides you guys and myself and that you're reunited with your daughter. And thank you. Yourself, thank you. I, I don't hug, just out of respect. Out of respect, I'm so sorry, forgive me. Yes, yes, uh, uh, without touching. <laughs> yes, thank you, forgive me for that. Thank you, it was a pleasure. My wish. Um, do you guys like Japanese food? I'm gonna yeah. okay. Yes. There's a place called Hare and Tortoise. Okay. Hare and Tortoise. Yeah. There's there's a couple of branches. You, you have to try chicken and black bean sauce. Sorry guys, so tough oh, tough topic. <laughs> but I'm sorry, chicken and black bean sauce. No, this or is the commercial. This is a commercial. Yeah, a sponsored <laughs> sponsored by uh, Hare and Tortoise. Sponsored by Hare and Tortoise. And if you like uh, uh, the curry laksa, you have to try them. I want to tell you. It was a pleasure. My wish for you. Thank you. Is that. We're all wrong. Yes. And everyone will meet in paradise. Hopefully. And we'll all go, why were we disagreeing yeah, back there? Yeah, hopefully. That's my wish. Thank you. Thank I, you. Thank I you. want to share a picture of our daughter. Sure, with you sure. Right it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be an honor. It'll be a pleasure. You have to look mad. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. No, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I've got mine. I got, I got it. How many kids do you guys have in like? We have three still. We have four still alive. We have two grandchildren. Wow. Well, our grandkids might be. Oh, I've never had that feeling, but it might be. Uh, That's great. Uh, they're, they're wonderful. They really are wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Take your time. Take your time. How long are you guys here for? When are you going back? Um, we're here for a week. Oh, one week. Yes. Okay. It's our 20th anniversary. Oh wow. Oh wait, 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 hold on a second. You have to tell us a secret now. No, no, no. Can I record? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, well, we need. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Give you patience. So, 21 years ago, I proposed in Trafalgar Square. In Trafalgar Square? And guys, guys, listen to this. You proposed in Trafalgar Square. Yes. And 21 years ago. 21 so, years ago. It's our 20th anniversary. We're wow. coming back to London. Wow, that's an amazing place. Where it began, and it hasn't ended, it's about to be continued. But what's one, one recipe, one secret that you can tell us? to maintain this marriage for 20 years because the biggest threat we have now always tell the truth and never betray each other and be lucky enough to find the right person <laughs> okay <laughs> he's a good man he's a good man he's a good man thank you guys thank you. it's a pleasure thank you very nice thank you very thank nice. you thank it's you. a pleasure thank you thank you take care please come and visit us more i'm here every sunday